Chantal Hillard, you are a member of parliament in the Netherlands. You belong to the Dutch Labour Party, PVDA, and you have just addressed about 200 or 300 people who were attending the peace conference on the Great Lakes region. Do you have any connection with that region? Um, yes, uh, as a parliamentarian, uh, of course, I'm uh, attached uh, to the region. Uh, I'm the spokesperson uh, for Development Corporation, for the, indeed, the pay van de A. Um, and we all can see uh, the region uh, still being in conflict, and that concerns us all. So um, I am connected to the region, uh, and I do concern, I have concerns about it. Uh, and that is why I chose to be here today, um, to have a dialogue with all the conference uh, participants. Uh, Rwanda is now receiving 17 million euro every year from the government uh, of uh, the Netherlands. Do you think it's too little or is it even not deserved with regard to the human rights justice issues going on in Rwanda? What's your uh, thought about these 17 million uh, given to Rwanda every year? Well, we give uh, money to uh, all the countries of the Great Lakes region. Uh, I do not uh, consider Rwanda as the only country there. We have Congo as well, which is much larger. Uh, we have Burundi, of course. We have Uganda in the region. Um, they are uh, what we call uh, fragile states. And we have new policy addressing the fragile states, and Rwanda is one of them. Um, and it means that we do not give money uh, uh, directly to the government. No, we give it through the NGOs and, and or through the multilateral organizations um, based on what is being asked. Those fragile countries include Uganda, Burundi, the DRC, and all those countries have ended uh, conflicts thanks to talks with rebel movements. Only Rwanda refused to talk to the FDLR, the Hutu rebel movement based in Eastern Congo. Do you think there should be pressure from, for instance, your government to on, on Rwanda? I think the dialogue is crucial. I think uh, criminals of war should be brought for court and they should be uh, uh, punished for what they did. So justice uh, must be done and the truth must uh, come to the front. Uh, and therefore, I believe in uh, dialogue and uh, it, it should be in the whole region and it should be even here in the diaspora. Because today we had, have heard many voices and they speak uh, to each other, but not with each other, hardly. And I tried to um, uh, make a, a, a difference in that by asking the women to stand out, stand up and speak out. And, and I was happy today that they did. Mm -hmm. And when I d challenged them, you saw the women standing up, speak out, and uh, now they tend to unite. And okay. That is uh, a win of today. Mm -hmm. I was reading your page uh, on the website of uh, the parliament, and I saw that cinema is a kind of second activity you do, and I'd like to have your opinion about the film Hotel Rwanda by uh, Paul Rusesa Bagina, or inspired by uh, Paul Rusesa Bagina, who was here today. What's your criticism or your comments about that film? It is not really cinema I did, it is more documentary. And uh, Hotel Rwanda definitely is not a documentary. Uh, it is indeed cinema and uh, it, 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 it's a beautiful movie. I mean, uh, you can look at it and, and, and it moves you, it takes you away. Uh, but cinema always brings you into a, di a certain reality mm -hmm. uh, compared to documentary, what I did. Mm -hmm. um, so I cannot compare the two. Mm -hmm. But uh, the government of Rwanda has somehow banned that film and has started a project which they call Counter Hotel Rwanda film, which will end up with another film just to destroy Rusesa Bagina's inspired uh, Hotel Rwanda. What do you think about this kind of politics fighting media? Dangerous. Dangerous. Not wise to do. I think uh, it would be uh, okay if uh, another film was being made, but not by the government. Um, it is good that, that in the, 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 there is an open dialogue from different perspectives. If different movies are there to show their view on the world, because that is Hotel Rwanda as well. It also shows a particular view. Um, that is okay. That is have freedom of expression, uh, freedom of uh, the media. Um, but for a government to do so, um, it is dangerous.